Well, it's a tough job, but somebody has to do it. Here we are in the, the world-renowned bars on Virgin Gorda. I actually don't need to say too much because as you can see behind me, this is absolutely incredibly beautiful. This is one of the, the most photographed anchorages in the world. It's one of the top destinations within the BVI and definitely a place that no one wants to miss when they come and charter here in the British Virgin Islands. Now, right now, we're in a place called Devil's Bay, which is a nice little secluded anchorage, beautiful white sand. As you can see, the, the water is just magnificent. When you come to the bars, there's no anchoring. You have to pick up a mooring ball. And in the height of season, it's advisable to get here quite early in the morning, or certainly by mid-morning, because it does get very crowded here. It's such a beautiful spot. One of the most amazing features, not just the water and the beautiful sand, but look at these amazing granite boulders behind me. It gives it just this unique feel to the whole bay. So how cool is this? Here we are in the caves. Look at these gigantic boulders. It's such a cool place to be. We've got the Caribbean through this amazing opening here. And just the sheer size of these boulders, it's, it's amazing. You've got to do this when you come to the BVI. One of the things you have to do is go through the caves. So as you can see, I found myself a nice big dry rock but not all the rocks when you come through the caves are dry. Some of them are quite wet, so they can be quite slippery. So just be a little bit careful when you're coming through the, uh, through the caves and the trail. And also as you come through, there's quite a lot of little tight corners and narrow spaces to get through. So uh, just, uh, just be careful as you come through. It's a great experience though, enjoy. So we told you we were gonna bring you through the caves and here we are right in the midst of the caves. This is absolutely amazing. Um, these bowls are just incredible. It's also nice and cool out of the sun. A couple of tips, when you're going through the caves, there are arrows pointing you in the right direction and also some signage. So follow those and you won't get lost. And also in a couple of spots, there's actually some steps. And a bit of advice, come down the steps backwards, not forwards, and you'll be fine. Okay, so here we are at the top of the bars. It's about a, a 15 minute easy hike, just up the hill to this uh, amazing restaurant where you can get some food and also have a, a nice cold uh, beverage of your choice. As you can see, absolutely stunning view, looking down the Sir Francis Drake Channel back towards the main island of Tortola. Cool breeze up here, which is great after that little hike. Once again, a place that you definitely don't want to miss. We're looking right down the Sir Francis Drake Channel. But what this hopefully shows you is one of the special and unique things about the BVI and why it's such a, a great place to come and charter. You can see how close the islands are together. And as you move between the islands and navigate between the islands, you're never out of the side of land. So you can always really see where you're going, where your next island is, where your next destination is. And when you look down here and see all the way down, we're looking at Tortola, we're looking at Beef Island, that's what makes it such an amazing place to come and charter is it's such an easy place to navigate around.